A commuter bus transporting people has caught fire and burned into ashes. A good thing is that the passengers, all of them, we are able to escape before the bus born into ashes. And this is a precautionary measure that our people have to take. All commuter drivers, they should check their cars, their vehicles before they set on a back on the journey. Because no matter what, human's life is more precious than anything, any material thing you can think of. Just take a look. We are happy in a way that um, no life was lost. Uh, these are the things, and that is why we are encouraging people uh, to really check their cars. Of course, Nigeria has no road, and right now fuel is quite expensive. <laughs> I don't know what people will do. As this is the uh, situation, the time period of time we are is leading towards December. You know how December used to shock people, and they just have to be careful and extremely careful in order to embark on their journey and to discharge their duties efficiently and effectively. And for that, I just want to bring to you how Sowere um, has exposed the security architecture of the Zoological Republic. He said that Nigeria lacks commander-in-chief, secret police, DSS operatives. We are busy watching Big Brother Niger while I was illegally detained in 2019. According to Sowere, he said Nigeria currently doesn't have a chief or a commander-in-chief. And who is the commander-in-chief? The commander-in-chief in Nigeria is supposed to be the president. Although so we believe that the Buhari is alive according to his own ideology and philosophy. He went on to say Muhammad Buhari is Nigeria's president, but many Nigerians have described him as a weak person and incompetent as the commander-in-chief. Of course, we know what is going on. To him, we will not... Um, argue with him because of his own concept and philosophy. That's left for him. But let's go back to what he is saying. That the DSS, they are always busy watching BB Niger during the season of BB Niger. They leave work they should be doing. And if um, issue cases come to them, they just bundle the person and go back and start watching BB Niger. And that can explain to you why things are going the way it is. After watching BB Niger, they just rush out and go and arrest anyone they want. Uh, how am I sure that um, EFCC are not watching? They are watching all of them. Uh, this is one thing with Nigeria. If the ministers, if the senators, even the Jubri himself, he used to watch BB Niger. He will be using his toothpick uh, <laughs> to remove uh, something from his teeth after eating a kobe and watching BB Niger. If the senators, if the ministers, if the governors, and more especially pastors, they are the ones that watch BB Night more than every other person. And that is why it's more of expensive. Can't you see, this is the way that Nigerian governments want to hold down the minds of the youth by introducing BB Niger. I don't think um, BB Niger is just all that valuable to the growth of the economy. 
and the developments of um, the youths. So how come the BB Niger is their priority? Imagine the SS, the army's army, army chief as well as police chief, all of them will be watching. That's that, I'm sure they'll be watching. If um, a parastatal like that, if the presidency is busy watching BB Niger and DSS is busy watching, then what are going to many? So, so we decided to expose them and tell them why things are going south, why things are going not the way it's supposed to be, because they are busy watching things that are not valuable. <laughs> this is the zoo for you. Another different news as regards to the level of insecurity in the Zoological Republic. Information has it that heavy gunshot in Zamfara was yesterday recorded as Nigerian army battle with the T group, Fulani T group, and they say that they deleted it. I'm wondering where this is happening. Zamfara, where Fulani T group are the ones controlling Zamfara, who are going to battle them? Nigeria army? Somehow, sometimes this information I find it somehow quite difficult to believe. This was confirmed by the director, Defense Media Operation Major General Musa Damadime, stating that uh, the attack on the T-Group camp we are located at Duse Uku Forest in Lanke and Damanka village in the Gumi local government area of Zamfara. He went on to say at least eight T-Group team members of Fulani we are deleted and four kidnapped victims we are rescued on Friday by the troops of Operation Forest Sanity of the Nigerian Army in Zamfara State. Is it not the same for us that army went and the other security operatives went and uh, arrested a woman that went to pick snail? They say that the forest right now in Nigeria is out of band, that the forest is now meant for Nigerian army and other operatives. If forest is meant for Nigerian army and other operatives, then how come? How come? These are the questions we should ask. How come the Fulanity group are the ones that own the forest? That's to show you that all of them are the same. They arrested the woman because she went into a forest and picked up snail to eat. A woman, a widow. She's looking for something that will sustain her and her children. Ami arrested her. They say it's a forbidden forest. That people are no longer allowed to enter forest. Why? Because these are their patterns of taking forest. Full of these, they hand it over. By the time they stop people from going into their own bush, into their own forest, to, you know, do the necessary things. After a year, two years, three years, you can't enter again. Fulanese has inhibited everywhere. This is army, and yet they say they are the one protesting, uh, protecting the forest. Here they say they battled this Fulanese group, and they deleted it, rescue, all these things are story. That is the story in the Zoological Republic. And following that same formation on our desk, as it that um, a Nigerian community has suffered as contractor abandoned a road project that was 1.1 billion naira in the DC road project in Abia State after payment since 2016. How are we sure that this payment has been made? <laughs> as they claim that they have paid the contractors 1.1 billion naira in Abia State and the contractors abandoned the job since 2016. <laughs> uh, that's Nigeria for you. How are we sure? Emeka, and here they said this Emeka they are referring to is not his street name, but he decided to adopt the name Emeka and had taken his wife to the health center in Umo Yorongwa community that fateful evening she had fallen into labor and like every other woman in the community, the health center was the only place to go. He had prepared to welcome a baby, but had not planned for what happened next uh, because of bad roads. His wife did deliver a baby girl, but then developed complications and had to be transferred to a bigger hospital on another side of the town. He would have done that, but that road to the community cannot be assessed at that time of the night. So he had to wait him money to find a way to get her into town, sadly. His wife could not wait till that long. She passed, leaving her newborn baby, as well as the husband, leave them behind. Well, um, this is the work of a bad governance. You know, uh, nobody should blame it on the contractors because I have never seen 
any contractor that we collect money without delivery hand over the job. Something must have gone wrong. And now they are calling contractors. Um, that part is still, yes, it's in the States. So they should ask, okay, Z, but what truly really happened? Yes, because he is, he is in charge. They should ask him. Those who got the contract, who awarded the contract, who are they? Let them come and explain. How after, have you seen a contract in Abia States in Nigeria, a public contract that's been awarded and full payments made? Because here yeah, they said they collected the entire payments, 1.1 billion naira in the DC projects. So the thing is that those in government, those in charge, we talk as if they must have squandered the money. And they want to blame it on the contractors now because they have gone since 2016, eight years now. And now you are talking about the contractors and the money and left. Which, which contractor will do that? Which contractor will do that? All the contractors are constructing roads in Nigeria are foreign contractors now, right? So it's not possible. And uh, once and again, they believe because um, this area, I think, is in the asket of other states. So they might be thinking uh, nobody, nobody cares who is coming that side. So these are the things. Bad governors. Bad governors. And that is why we believe that everything lies in Biafra. Biafra will be the one that, that will bring the hope, restore the hope of our people. Well, we decided to bring you the state of the nation that spans from the Zoological Republic Center and being in Abuja. As regards the things that DSS is doing, busy, their security system of Nigeria, they are busy watching BB Niger. Then in the other part of the North Zamfara, we've told you how they've claimed that they have neutralized the bandits over there. And tomorrow you still see them in quantum. Then back in Ibe State, yeah, you've seen what poor governance is doing. And earlier we brought you a video of people who their boss got into fire, of course. They we are able to escape before the boss burn down. We thank you for listening. We ask you to stay tuned as we bring you more information on Nikki Bobby.